hello everyone welcome to your spiritual liaison 123 where the truth will be told get your affirmations and your manifestations on through what meditation love yourself first please live your absolute best life and get an amazing life on every single day this reading is for the sign of leo okay so leo we are going to see what is happening with you for the week of may the 8th through the 14th and the energy around that cross watches you are welcome on this um for this leo reading you may have leo as your rising um your moon your north node or something so <clears throat> what are those cards oh okay leo let me pull one of these because so for every reading i've been doing um I'm going to use black obsidian. This is a protection stone. I'm going to use black obsidian for you, Leo. Okay. People use this stone. Sometimes they put it, um, they wear it on them as a necklace, a ring. Um, people sometimes will place it in the doorway of their home or their business. <clears throat> to attract good energy and repel negative energy as sort of like a protection. So Leo and cross, cross watches, you could feel like you need protection from a Leo or Leo, you may feel like you need to, you need protection from somebody, like you have to protect your energy or something like that, okay? So let us get into this reading for my Leos. I also uploaded the um, Capricorn, Aquarius, Pisces, Aries, Taurus Gemini Cancer is currently uploading. So, <clears throat> okay. So the card came out for you. Says, please stop bringing up the past. So Leo, <clears throat> you could feel like somebody continues to bring up the past, and you want to move past that. You could be telling someone this, like, please stop bringing up the past. You have a star card. So you could be feeling like a star right now. You may be getting a lot of attention. Um, you have the seven of pentacles in reverse. And you have the two of swords. So it's like something has turned around and changed for you, Leo, in a very good way. You could be feeling, you could be getting a lot of attention right now. Due to a past investment. <clears throat> and you could be, there could be some sort of confusion around how somebody is feeling. Yeah. Mm. Hmm. So, Leo, there's some sort of confusion about the attention you received or some wishes coming true for you. You have the star card crowning this five of swords. There's a lot of confusion. Um, <clears throat> you could have felt like you had to walk away from someone because they kept bringing up the past. You could even feel like you need to protect your energy from somebody because there is negative conversation or energy being pushed your way about the attention you receive or the fact that you're some sort of star or something. Now, it does look like with the seven of pentacles and reverse and this five of wands of right, um, it's like something about an investment Something there's a lot of confusion or arguing about an investment. So whether you invested into someone or whether they invested into you, somebody could feel like it wasn't enough, like you didn't invest into them enough, or that you could feel like that they have not invested. Like something about an investment caused a lot of confusion. Who invested into who? Um, who stopped giving? Who who just like got out of it or felt like it was a bad investment or something. 
it looks like to say, please stop bringing up the past. It looks like in the past, there was a breaking of energy where somebody decided to stop <clears throat> putting their, their focus on someone. Stop investing into someone. Stop investing into this connection. And it caused a lot of confusion. You have the two of swords here and then crowning that is the three of swords. So yeah, there was confusion and heartbreak here. A lot of confusion. Things that were behind the scenes um, that, you know, <clears throat> crying, feeling left out and alone, vulnerable, confused about what has happened. It looks like somebody, you know, has a problem with your status. That's what it looks like. It looks like somebody has a problem with your status of where you are in life. Yeah, they're blinded by something too. They also feel powerless now. Somebody feels powerless. It, it, it could be because you're no longer investing into them, Leo. Somebody feels like they lost power with you or something. You could have stopped investing into this because you felt like it was too much of a burden. So they could be telling you, like, please stop bringing up the past. You could be telling them, like, you really, you had me in a place of confusion, had me carrying all of these unnecessary burdens, wanting to, wanting me to put, put, invest into something blindly. No matter how much it was hurting, it's like you put a stop to something. This is due, Leo, it looks like somebody didn't like that. They don't like the attention you get. And it caused a lot of problems. Let me see what, yeah, it does look like whoever this is, you all are coming out of this not speaking mode. <clears throat> looks like you all are coming out of that. The not speaking or lack of communication. Something that was done in the dark. Or, or like hidden emotions that a Virgo could be involved in this as well as a air sign. Like a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. But you may feel like you need protection from somebody because it just looks like they have come back or they had a problem with your status or the fact that you stopped investing into this. It caused a lot of confusion. They're only coming back because something that you were doing was making them feel powerful. And without you, they feel kind of weak, Leo. They know that they put way too much on you too and that this was um <clears throat> that this was like it was something that it, they knew that so they know that they were putting more burdens on you they know that they broke your heart they caused a lot of confusion The justice system could be involved in some way but then I also keep seeing like Libra You feel like this person, like you don't want to work with them. I see a rejection of working together or uniting. This could be three people involved. You could feel like this person has people hidden or influencing them. Like they allowed people in the past to influence them to not work with you. This could have been a third party interference. <clears throat> so now it looks like you don't care to work with them. This looks like the tables have turned, Leo. It does. It looks like you were dealing with somebody who was kind of jealous of the amount of attention you were receiving. 
This caused a lot of problems. You all separated. <clears throat> you got tired of investing into something with somebody who was just, it was constant conflict. Because you had the, the five of swords and the five of wands. And then you had the three of swords. So it was like constant conflict leading to this breakup. And now somebody wants to come back because they see you doing extremely well for yourself. All the investing that they had a problem with doing before. It looks like there was a third party involved. And they were not willing to sort of balance this out with you. Just have you and them, you know, in this connection. They tried to entertain both parties. <clears throat> and it looks like you stopped investing. Now they want you back. They want to come back around. You may be thinking about getting a restraining order on this person. This could be where I see this protection. You may feel like you want to get a restraining order to keep this person away from you. You may warn them one time like, I don't want to be bothered. You may have to reprimand this person like they're a child or something with this empress in reverse. <clears throat> you may feel like this person is super childish, so you're going to have to put them in some sort of time out. That could be why I see you may not have to get, you may decide to get some sort of like the justice system involved to get a restraining order because you gave this person a chance. But they were careless with you or how they handled you. So it looks like they're trying to come back because something about your status has improved with the star card. <clears throat> this person is watching you very closely. You have the Ten of Cups, but it's in reverse. Yeah. It looks like you don't even you don't want a reunion with this person again. That's what it looks like. This person caused a lot of emotional damage in your life by trying to put more on you than you deserve to have, like, more baggage on you than you deserved. So it looks like you're like, now, <clears throat> this person could be coming back telling you, like, please stop bringing up the past. But it looks like they're going to try to force their, force, like, change the way yeah, you're holding back from this person. <clears throat> you're holding back from this person a lot. Something about their energy is sort of like the card that came out. Look, five, the five of pentacles and the devil card. Yeah, so I don't see this person as being a good investment at all. Um, this person has a has like controlling issues. They like to manipulate the situation and control the situation. I'm going to tell you, Pisces, what this looks like. This looks like a robbery. That could be what I'm saying. I mean, I said Pisces. Woo! I hope, hey, Leo, Pisces. I hope, um, uh, Leo, I hope ain't no, ain't no Pisces thinking about doing nothing crazy like that. They're they going to wind up in prison. Look at this car. They're going to wind up in, in jail. You might have to, um, get a restraining order on them. Because it looks like somebody is doing something, thinking of something toxic pertaining to your finances that will put you in a place of lack. <clears throat> it looks like they're going to try to return first, though. But it looks like because you're not, you're withholding something, you're not giving them what they want. Like this person is coming up out of like a ghost or something. Somebody you haven't seen or spoken to in a while. And they could be telling you like, please stop bringing up the past. But I get that they're back because of something about your status. But they're coming back with an ulterior motive too. That I don't like at all. I don't like that energy. And it does look like <clears throat> this person is going to come back you know, all passionate. I just see an ulterior motive. And then it looks like you're still going to reject them with this Ten of Cups in reverse. 
It looks like you're still going to reject them. Let's see the angels, holy angels, holy spirit. <clears throat> what is the influence? Claire, please clarify. Mm. <laughs> a mess. Look at all these cards. The influence is a mess. Whoever was influencing this person is a hot mess. It's a lot of people, too. It's a lot of people involved. Look at all them cards that tried to fall out. It's a lot of people involved. So you could feel like this person <clears throat> has too many other influences in you all's connection. Or they had too many people influencing them in the past. You may be calling them out on that. That could be why they're saying, please stop bringing up the past. But I don't, somebody, whoever this is, Leo, mm -mm, I will pay very much close attention to this individual because, yeah, I don't like the energy that's with this, these cards. <clears throat> somebody using money or, you know, to control someone or um, to make them feel stuck. Look at how she's laying on the floor all wrapped up. You know what I mean? And it's like... <clears throat> mm -hmm. It's like she's laying on the floor all wrapped up, feeling vulnerable and helpless. And that could be a she or a he. Yeah, I wouldn't trust whoever this is. You haven't talked to them in a while, too. Whoever this is. But they've been watching you do well. Definitely stalker vibes. You may have to get a restraining order on somebody who decide they want to pop up and don't really want to take no for an answer. Mm -hmm. Angel of Sky. Yeah. Um... Saha, Saha Quell, Saha Quell, the angel of sky, an air, a air sign could be um, involved into this and involved in um, playing a role, an air sign could be involved in playing a role in your success in some way. So that could be the reason why you're like, maybe you're in the public eye in some way, Leo, but it's like an air sign could have been involved in this, or you could have had a falling out with an air sign due to your success. Leo, you may feel like these people were a bunch of hanger ons, like... You know what that mean? Like somebody, like the only reason they want to be bothered is so they can hang on to you. Because look at all of these belts hanging off of him. All of these loot, these holes, these hoops. This is so other people can be attached to. Remember I just said, there may be a lot of people involved in something. <clears throat> this person could have a lot of people involved in watching you. Or there could have been some sort of plan like, oh, I'll go back in and talk to Leo and confess my love or everything that was wrong or whatever to distract them. And when I get what I want, then I'm going to help y'all get what y'all want from Leo. I mean, from, from like, you know, yeah. So it's like somebody... I don't like that though, Leo. Somebody is really like, they don't even understand. They're either going to wind up in prison or worse. Like they really, you may, that's why, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Diet, null, emptiness. Yeah, you're dealing with an empty vessel. Almost like a demon. Like somebody who has no heart. All they think about is what they can, you know, nothing is ever enough. I get that you gave, gave, gave. This person has, is like a bottomless pit. 
you fill up this hole, another one is created. You fill up that hole, another one is created. You fill up, so no matter how much you give or how much you gave, it was never enough. And now this person is wanting to come back and telling you to stop bringing up the past. <clears throat> you need to trust your intuition with this individual though, Leo. Straight up. Ground the kingdom. Mm -hmm. I told you this person may be going to prison or either um something worse. Like at this is, it's like, this is somebody who won't accept no. Like they're, it's like they, I, the energy I'm getting is, oh, okay, you invested into me and I felt powerful when you did. You took that power away because it wasn't reciprocated. Now I'm going to find a sneaky way to come back in so I can regain that power with you again. <clears throat> But I get that they still have people they're working with behind the scenes that you don't know about. This rejection, you know, some people can't handle rejection. Like, seriously, they cannot handle it. A full grown adult out here not being able to handle rejection. But it does look like you may have to, um, you know, like sort of assertively tell this person, like, I don't want to be bothered. You healed from some sort of pain, heartbreak that you went through. But this person just won't let up. They're not, I, I see it. They won't take no for an answer. You're going to turn them down, but they don't want to take no for an answer. This could be why I see this protection. You're needing some sort of protection from them. <clears throat> within the next few weeks, this person could be returning to you within the next few weeks. Like I said, almost like a ghost, like they're coming up from up under a rock. This is somebody who you have, you probably haven't seen them in at least four years. This four of um, pentacles here, they've stayed away for at least four years or four months. Take action. What I tell you, told you, Leo, you won't have to take action against this person. You may have to get the legal system involved. I told you, you may have to get the legal system involved, the justice system. Because <clears throat> I get something about this person not taking no for an answer. Opportunity. Yeah, they look at you as some sort of opportunity. I mm, Look, I never know what's going to come out in these cards when they come out, but they do look at you as some sort of opportunity. And this is why... This five of pentacles and this devil card is over here. That's an unhealthy, toxic connection and a de desire to control someone's finances. <clears throat> they look at you as a as a opportunity or some sort of like money bank or something. So I don't know. You could have been investing a lot into this person when you had it, when you all were together or something. But this person is still connected. They they it, they may be connected to a air sign who's trying to help them plan something <clears throat> within the next few weeks. It says lighthouse, don't doubt your worth. I am always enough. Yeah. So Leo, in the past, this person tried to make you feel like you weren't enough. And see, the thing was, you were more than enough. They tried to make you feel like you weren't enough. You were more than enough. That's why I'm saying like this was a bottomless pit type person. No matter what you gave, it was always another hole that would come that needed to be fulfilled. It was always something that was never enough. You had to cut it off. This person was trying to play a bunch of mind manipulation games like you weren't enough. You were always enough. <clears throat> They just were doing that so they could keep receiving. And I get that you picked up on this, sort of reprimanded them by keeping, like cutting off funds or something or cutting off your energy, the attention you were giving this person or something. Yeah. <clears throat> it does look like there, they, there was a lot of interference from outside people, up to 10 different people. 
fire and, and air is really heavy in your reading, Leo. I know you're a fire sign, but Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, Gemini, Aquarius, and Libra is really heavy in your in, in this reading. <clears throat> Spaceship, don't be afraid to sing. So this person may try to intimidate you, like try to like tell you you better not say anything about what they're doing or what that you know. Yeah, I keep I'm telling you, Leo, you may you're gonna wind up having to get somebody involved. <clears throat> I get that you you need to say it, say it, say it. You know, don't sit there and let somebody put fear in you. Go ahead and say how you feel because I get that this could be up to three people trying to intimidate you to let this person back into your life. <clears throat> I said this could be up to three people trying to intimidate you to let this person back into your life and look at what came out. What I say? Look, I got, mm. <laughs> it's three right here and three right here. Told you it's a lot of influences. This person has a lot of people all in their business. A lot of shady people too. It could be an air sign. If I see, keep seeing air, fire, and, and Pisces. Or water. So Cancer or Scorpio as well. Yeah. <clears throat> And cross watchers, if you're dealing with the Leo, this could be your situation. All right. You pull one card, and that is the end of this reading. I think I did pretty good because I've been trying to keep them under 30 minutes for you all. Forgiveness. Somebody's going to be asking for forgiveness too. Sorry, Leo. Excuse me. I'm getting over a cold. Forgiveness, it says, I acknowledge that harboring resentment blocks the flow of love. So, it looks like, <clears throat> Leo, this is somebody who you've tried to forgive. You try to move on from. You try to love them with all your heart when you had the opportunity to give to them. But for some reason, this person was not receptive or it wasn't being reciprocated. Or it just it just looked to me like it was never enough. This person is sort of like spiritually damaged, empty inside, like an empty vessel. And they used you to fill that up, those empty spaces. But it was never enough. No matter what you gave, no matter what you did, it was never enough. This person is, it looks like they're going to make the wrong decision to come back in to try to forcefully make you be back with them. You may have to get a restraining order or this person may wind up going to prison. This could be why they're asking for your forgiveness after the fact. But it looks like it's other people involved too. This is going to backfire. See, People need to learn how to grow up and accept no for an answer. This looks like it's going to backfire horribly on, on this person or these people. But, yeah, when you, you know, if you got to get a restraining order, do what you have to do. Um, <clears throat> don't worry about somebody trying to intimidate you. Like, you bet not say nothing or whatever. No, sing like a damn canary if you need to. Because anybody who can't accept no for an answer don't deserve to be on the street anyway. So that's that's like a, you know, you have wild animals that understand no. So anytime this person don't understand no, then yeah, you need to let them go on and, and be around crimin the, the criminals that they, they trying to be. Let them go ahead and, and pick their feet up for the next 10, 20 years. They'll wake up to reality. <clears throat> Let's 
sitting in their hard damn jail cell on them metal damn uh, beds, they will wake up to reality. Okay. All right. All right. Sorry for the dark reading, Leo. Hopefully next week for the one for the um, the 16th, I mean the 15th through the 21st, hopefully that one, um, when I upload that one next week, hopefully that will be a lot more positive. And uplifting, but I do have to, you know, speak honest about what I see in the cards, my intuition, what's coming through, things like that. So, um, some of your readings are going to be really uplifting, and some of them are not. So, this is one of the ones that unfortunately it's not. So, <clears throat> Carl Swatches, if you are dealing with the Leo, this could be past, present, or future. My readings are timeless, even though I did put it for the week of the 8th through the 14th, but. This could be just happening around that time. Okay, that's the end of in the <laughs> blah, 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 okay. <laughs> that's the end of the reading. Sending you nothing but positive energy. Thank you so much for hanging out with me, and I will talk with you soon.